Lily the foodie. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make my citrus pomegranate cranberry sauce. Normal cranberry sauce for the holiday season only consists of three simple ingredients. Fresh cranberries, a cup of sugar, and a cup of water. My different recipe is going to substitute the water with orange juice for that great citrus flavor. We're going to be adding some pomegranate seeds that I've already taken out in my last episode. And some lemon zest, just for some color and a little bit of tart kick. Go ahead and set your stove to medium heat. Pour your cup of orange juice into the pot. And add your cup of sugar. Once you've added your cranberries to the orange juice and sugar, Go ahead and increase the heat to a boil. This will encourage the cranberries to start popping. Once your cranberries start to pop in the boiling juice, go ahead and add a handful of pomegranate seeds. This will add a nice texture and crunch to the cranberry sauce. See how some of the cranberries are already popping? Now our cranberry sauce is starting to boil. We have cranberries, pomegranates, and orange juice in there. See how the cranberries are exploding inside? We're gonna reduce the heat to a low simmer and leave this alone for 10 minutes. Look at this beautiful magenta color of our cranberry pomegranate sauce. The sauce has now been reduced. It's thick, sweet, and ready to be cooled. Go ahead and pour your cranberry sauce into a cooling bowl. Doesn't that look absolutely beautiful? To give this dish a little more color and life, I'm going to go ahead and zest a yellow lemon right over the sauce. Look at that beautiful sauce. And you see how we put a little bit of that lemon zest to add more color? Go ahead and put this in the refrigerator, and in about half an hour it'll be ready to serve. Our citrus pomegranate cranberry sauce is done. It looks beautiful. Rich colors. Oh, it smells so good. And you can see the little pomegranate seeds in there to give the nice crunch that we're looking for. You can see a hint of the lemon, and I'm telling you, it's a guaranteed crowd pleaser. Thanks for watching Lily the Foodie. I hope you enjoyed the recipe and have a happy holiday.